Hey welcome to Decent T and C, I am Jean Marie. Today we are going to see different types of windows. On any building to be constructed, there has to be some openings. Among them we saw doors and windows. Windows will be used for the purposes of ventilation, and admission of light and fresh air in the building. A window is a vented barrier secured in the wall opening. The functions of a window are To admit light, lighting the whole building even when it is closed. To admit fresh air in the building, ventilation of the building. To give the view to the outside, facilitate looking outside when you are in the building. Windows must also provide insulation against heat loss, and sound. Some windows are required to offer resistance to fire. As we saw in previous video for doors watch out the link in description below, a window is made of two parts. A window frame. A window shutter, or sash. Window frames are fixed to the opening in the wall, by means of suitable hinges. The window frame has sill at the bottom. Types of windows. Based on the nature of operational movements of the shutter, materials used in their construction, manner of their fixing and their location, windows are classified as follows. 1. Dot casement windows. These are windows having shutters which are opened as the shutters of usual doors. The shutter consists of styles, top rails, bottom rails, intermediate rails, etc. The panels may be either glazed, or unglazed, or partly glazed and partly unglazed. 2. Double hung windows. It consists of a frame and a pair of shutters arranged one above the other, which can slide vertically within the grooves provided in the window frame. 3. Pivoted windows. In these windows, the shutters are allowed to swing round pivots fixed to the window frame. The window frame has no hinges to fix the window shutter. The frame of the window shutter is similar to that of an encased window. The shutter can swing or rotate either horizontally or vertically. Dot. 4. Sliding windows. They are similar to sliding doors. The shutters move either horizontally or vertically on small roller bearings. Suitable grooves are left in the frame, or walls to accommodate the shutters when they are slid to open the window. Such windows are commonly used in trains, buses, shops, banks, etc. 5. Louvered Windows the shutter consists of top and bottom rails, and two styles which are grooved to receive the louvers. They are similar to louvered doors. They are provided for To ventilate the inside of the room. To provide permanent ventilation. To provide permanent lighting. To allow seeing, looking, outside. For working well. The economical angle of inclination of louvers is 450. Louvers slope downwards to the outside to run off the rain water. 6. Sash windows or glazed windows. These are the windows having panels which are fully glazed. The frame of each shutter consists of two vertical styles, top rail, and bottom rail. The space between the top and bottom rail is divided into small panels by means of small steel, or timber, members placed vertically or horizontally. These members are called sash bars or glazing bars. Glass panels are fixed to these sash bars by means of putty or timber beads commonly known as glazing beads. If the window opening is wide, the window frame may have a central vertical member known as mullion. 7. Metal windows. These are widely used type of window in nowadays. 8. Circular windows. These are pivoted windows of circular shape. 9. Corner windows. This window has two faces in two perpendicular directions. For this. Light and fresh air will be admitted from the two directions. 
It is a special type of windows, which is used in the corner of the room. The jam post of the window, at the corner is made of a big section. 10. Gable Windows It is a vertical window provided in the gable end of the pitched roof. 11. Dormer Window It is a vertical window provided on the sloping roof. Such windows provide ventilation and lighting to the enclosed space below the roof. Also, it improves the appearance of the building. 12. Bay Windows Bay windows project outside the external wall of the room. The projection of the window beyond the wall can be rectangular, triangular, circular, or polygonal in plan. Such windows are provided to get an increased area of the opening for admitting greater light and air. They also provide extra space in the room, and improve the appearance of the building. 13. Clustory Window A clustery window is a large window or series of small windows along the top of a structure's wall, usually at or near the roof line. Clustery windows are a type of fenestration or glass window placement found in both residential and commercial construction. A clustery window often rises above adjoining roofs. In a large building, like a gymnasium or train station, the windows will be positioned to allow light to illuminate a large interior space. A smaller home may have a band of narrow windows along the very top of a wall. Skylights. It is provided on the roof to admit light. The window projects above the top of the sloping surface. They run parallel to the sloping surface. 14. Lantern windows. It is used on the flat roofs to provide more light and air to the inner apartments, rooms, of the building. They may have several shapes. They admit light either through vertical faces as well as inclined faces. The roof slab has an appropriate opening below the window. 15. Skylights It is provided on the roof to admit light. The window projects above the top of the sloping surface. They run parallel to the sloping surface. 16. Fixed Windows it consists of a frame to which shutters are fixed. The shutters are fully glazed. These windows are provided for admitting light, and for providing vision to the outside. This is a window which is always closed in such a way that it can never be opened. It is always closed. Thank you for watching.